Welcome to FS17 Fire Rescue on the KST map. Today we'll be responding to a variety of calls around the town. We will first be making our way over to the volunteer station for a few hours here in our 2017 F250X Cap XLT. Today's video was highly requested by all of you guys, which is pretty exciting. It's nice to be back here responding to fires on the KST map, which is a very nice uh, map for roleplay purposes, and it even has built in fire calls which we will be responding today as well and the volunteer station is mainly for brush calls anything related to woods as well so we'll go over there for a few hours it's been pretty dry lately there might be a few calls if there is we will respond to them and then we'll uh, transfer over to the main station as well which is pretty cool and we are going by the police station right now I've gotten lots of requests to start a new police station let me know should we do that I think that that would be a pretty exciting series here on the channel. I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far and hope yours is too. Looks like we do have a few people here which is nice. We'll be able to chat around with them until we do get some calls if we do. And I always do take end spots as well and with trucks I always back up there. That looks good here. This is a pretty popular truck among the Super Duties. The XLT trim is also nice and we do have one awesome looking truck here so let's kind of take a look here at the vehicles that are at this station and then it will wait around here for a call so over here we do have some pretty interesting vehicles we got a player stranger over here a ram 3500 and this old uh, one here which holds quite a lot of gallons as well both of these do have uh fire hoses this one does not but that is okay it does have some water as well which is nice so we'll wait around here for a call we just received an emergency call from the golf course that a small brush fire has started in the back alongside their golfing areas. The Ram 3500 brush truck and the player stranger will be responding here. The ranger is much better for the call, but we gotta take this here to have all of the tools. We'll turn our lights on and we'll be going over there as soon as we can. Now we do have to stop at intersections and we've got to make sure it is safe to go here. Looks like there's a vehicle as well and they don't really yield to us as well. So we'll have to watch out for them uh, and uh, there's so much traffic right now. So whoa, good thing that we did stop there or else we could have had an accident. So we have already arrived here which is nice. And now this is a pretty heavy vehicle to be driving over here onto the grass. But when an emergency happens, we just got to do it. So we got this one here. Next up, we'll be switching back over here to the player stranger. I really do like this lot. And we'll turn on these lights. We don't have any sirens on this just yet. Usually, we bring this to big emergencies or even big events around the town that might possibly get a fire or call. I usually like to bring this. And this is pretty cool. It's our first call here with this. And it's a nice one, especially for uh, maybe even to have one of these at the golf course ready to go for us. That one might be a really good idea. We might have to talk to them. And we got both of these here, which is nice. I always do get lots of requests to have a big variety of uh, vehicles respond to these calls as well. So we'll uh, start to put out this fire here. Just take a look at that. This is not too big of a fire, but it is a pretty decent size for uh, only starting a few minutes ago. And a brush fire do start and it could spread very easily, especially with not getting too much water. I hope all of you guys are having an amazing day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. I really do enjoy this fire rescue series. It's pretty cool. And brush fires do take a little bit longer to put out, and that's okay. It's a bit tricky, but we are doing a good job so far. We're going to have to keep at this fire. It looks like this tree is just fully involved. After quite a long time, this brush fire is now out. We did have a few warm spots that just wanted to kind of re-catch, but it looks like we are good now. We'll be hopping here in the ram, and we'll first be taking this back. I will keep a few of these lights on as we kind of get back off the uh, grass here, but it looks like the ground was pretty solid, which is good. We did get uh, quite a lot of rain, and uh, sometimes it doesn't drain well, but it's always been pretty dry at the same time, and that's not surprising. We got just a little bit. 
and it's been like that. And that area usually usually doesn't drain for like a week, week and a half because there's so much water there. So we did do a pretty good job. And this truck is pretty awesome as well. Take a look at this. We'll turn our lights on. You usually have to do this when you do back in fire vehicles. Sometimes it's a policy to do it for safety reasons. So we'll do it as well. And we could have potentially used the front uh, hose on it, but no need to do that. We'll get this back in. That looks good right about there. And switch back here to the Polaris Ranger. I really do like this a lot. And we'll keep the lights going, especially since this isn't really road worthy, uh, street legal. We'll just kind of keep the lights on as we do head back and we'll just go along the side of the road. Usually though, when it's an emergency, uh, we could go pretty fast in this thing. Big shout out goes out to r, &R Apparatus and all the different models for all of the hard work. r, &R Apparatus made the majority of these vehicles used here in today's video. And then we are on a KSC map, which, like I've touched upon, is a nice role play map as well. We'll turn off these lights and we'll get this backed in here. That will be it here for this station. I do want to go over to the main station. There. It's been a pretty busy day for them as well. So let's uh, hop back here in the F-250. It would be nice to respond uh, lights and sirens to the station, but we'll only do that if we receive a call as we are going over there. A bit tricky on a turn. We'll actually have to come over here and as we are making our way over there, we just received a call of an ATV rider has crashed the ATV and it's fallen on top of home. We'll have to respond over there with our medic a vehicle, the ambulance. We'll turn on our lights and sirens. We'll rush over to the station as soon as we can. It's just down the road as well, which is nice. And once again, the traffic does not stop for us. We'll have to see what they're doing and then we'll go. You always have to be safe around traffic. So we are now here. We'll get this uh, truck backed and we probably should have just kind of went uh, forwards in, but that's okay. We'll turn off these lights and we'll uh, get this parked in. Taking up two spots, that's okay. We gotta get rushing here and the medic is way over here. This is one awesome truck as well. We'll be hopping here in M784. We'll be taking this here today. We'll turn on our lights and we'll be rushing over to the uh, crash site as soon as we can. Now, we do want to drive pretty realistically as well, which is always a big thing. So we'll kind of go there and some of these vehicles will not uh, slow down or even stop for us. We'll have to stop here at the intersection pretty big and we do not want to have a collision on our own and we'll be taking this individual to the hospital like I've touched upon. ATV has fallen on its rider and it's over here. Wow. Uh, take a look that it's on its side. So we'll come over here and we'll get this out now. A lot of you guys have touched upon that the uh, back area does come out with a stretcher. I'm not familiar with the keys here on it. Hopefully I could learn it but you guys can see it is in the back here. We'll hop back in the ambulance. All right. Uh, we got the patient loaded on here, which is good, and just take a look at that. Uh, the ATV is completely on its side, and it looks like it kind of crushed his leg there. So we'll, let's see if we could kind of uh, hop back in this, hop out, and we got him loaded up, and we'll just take a look at that. Wow, it got his leg over there, and pretty rough fall coming from up there. So we'll hop here in this. We're going to bring this person over to the hospital. We get all of the lights turned back on. This does not have an interior view, which is okay. And we'll just head over. The hospital isn't too far away as well, which is uh, good, good at the same time. And uh, it's always good to make sure the patient is safe. And always got to stop at these intersections. I'm always checking both ways uh, to make sure nobody is coming up on us because they might not see us, might not be able to stop in time. Looks like we are good and we are coming up here on the station and the hospital is right here. Awesome. So we'll come over here. We'll get the patient backed in here and then it, that will, will be it here for the medic call. So we'll get him backed in and we'll just wait around here for a few minutes. The patient is now unloaded and is in the hospital getting care by all the doctors and nurses, which is good. Our job has been complete here for this medic call. Hopefully we can get one to two more calls here with a fire rescue team. I would take that road back, but uh, I don't think that's going to be the correct road. And this is one pretty cool truck. I really do like to feature probably one medic call every single fire rescue video. It's just a cool thing to do here. And this is an awesome map as well. It's just perfect for these types of calls. And we could have gone there, but I did not really want to kind of push the issue 
of that and we aren't in a rush to get back to the station but this is pretty cool m74 and like i've touched on i will be learning the keys to this i really do want to kind of learn to how to open up the doors it's some key bindings and i don't really want to just press random ones when we are out on calls because we got to get the patience there but this is awesome how it does have a first person view as well if you guys would like to see more fire rescue videos here on the channel, please let me know down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, I do recommend you turn on the post notifications here for the channel so that you don't miss a new upload. I do post daily every single day, which is pretty exciting. And a lot of you guys have been really enjoying all of the uh, videos here on this series, which is always nice. I put a lot of hard work and time into it. We'll get our lights a turn back on as we do back this in. I really do like this station though, it's pretty cool. Very helpful to have these lines out here. We just kind of center ourselves with these lines and then we are good there. Just take a look at that first try and we got it. We'll back up just like that. And you guys can see it looks like uh, our medic call here was pretty successful. And let's kind of walk through there. It's a bit tricky. And we'll have to wait around here for another call. And this is a pretty cool map, I will have to say. And you could activate different calls, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. We've just received a call that a old Dodge truck is on fire at someone's driveway. We'll be hopping here in our Pierce engine and we'll be responding over there to the call. I really do like this engine a lot. It's pretty cool and it does look awesome and it's pretty new to us as well. I always do like using new uh, equipment and new things in my videos and I really do enjoy doing fire rescue videos. It's pretty cool for a change up as well since we do lots of different things. We'll try to use as much silence as we can as we are rushing over there to the call. We want to get there as fast and as safe as we can while not putting any other uh, motorists in danger as well. There looks to be a vehicle coming up, so up to stop for them. And they definitely would have collided with us, so it's a bit tricky, but we are doing a nice job at it. Doing some first person action as well. And there's a fire guys take a look at that. So we'll get the rope locked down. And we'll get the hoses running. Yeah this looks to be good. The road should be stopped there. And we'll come back here. Get the fire hose. And let's get going at this. Looks like an, it's an old truck. Maybe a wire issue. But it's fully engulfed in flames. we got to put this out as soon as we can. And we want to prevent it from spreading over onto the house as well. That won't be a good thing for the homeowner to lose his house or potentially uh, lose it. So we'll have to keep uh, putting this out. It looks like a nice truck though if it wasn't uh, for this uh, start of the fire. Looks like the fire is not really uh, dying down and it's not uh, really gaining uh, fire, which is good at the same time. And there will be a time where our water will overpower uh, this fire and we'll have to continue just to put this out. After quite a long time, the fire is now out, which is nice. It looks like this truck will be a total loss here, which is not too good. We'll be hopping back here in our engine, and we'll be making our way back over to the station. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's fire rescue video on the KST map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.